Tonight, the mayor of New Orleans facing fierce backlash after a local government investigation found she used city funds to upgrade her international flights to the tune of nearly $30,000. One first-class trip to France last July cost over $17,000 alone. At the time, the mayor saying this. Expenses incurred doing business on behalf of the city uh, will not be reimbursed to the city. She went on to explain that the upgraded travel expenses were for her health and safety relating to the COVID-19 pandemic. My health and well-being is a priority, and especially um, it's all doing city business. And I have to be at my best doing it. In a statement to several other news stations, Cantrell said, quote, anyone who wants to question how I protect myself just doesn't understand the world black women walk in. Now a petition calling for her recall is growing. This recall is because of the job performance of the mayor. Over 10,000 people have signed the petition, many claiming her travel controversies and a rise in crime as the main reasons behind the recall push. New Orleans crime has skyrocketed this year with homicides up 142% since 2019 and their own Metropolitan Crime Commission naming the city the murder capital of the U.S. But Mayor Cantrell telling our affiliate last month she sees the recall as a distraction. Like I've done with every crisis, with every disaster that I've had to face and challenge that I've had to face, I do it with integrity, I do it with dignity, and I do it with hard work. After months of being embroiled in the controversy, the mayor now saying she will pay the money back. I will have to re reimburse the city for those business expenses. She did not say whether the money would come from personal funds or her campaign. Because it wasn't a business expense, then that really does give me uh, the wherewithal to adequately refund the city of New Orleans for business services rendered on my behalf. Cantrell telling our affiliate WDSU she does not need to provide a timeline for the repayment. Are you able to tell us when the money will re be repaid, Madam Mayor? I don't have, I'm not doing that. I don't need to do that. This isn't the first time she's been accused of using taxpayer dollars for personal use. New Orleans mayoral candidate Latoya Cantrell used her city credit card. In 2017, a criminal complaint was sent to the attorney general's office suggesting improper credit card use. And a $600 meal on the city of New Orleans. The documents were obtained by WDSU. DSU and Control reimbursed the city over $9,000. Cantrell did pay the money back, but in some cases, those payments were made months, even years after the purchases. Cantrell and her legal team denied wrongdoing, and after a year-long investigation into the 2017 payment, no criminal charges were filed. Maya Eaglin joins us now. Maya, do we know why Mayor Cantrell decided to finally pay up the upgraded airfare? Tom, so the city attorney and her chief administration officer actually did a review of the policy and found that these extra charges did have to be reimbursed. Additionally, there was a lot of negative press surrounding this incident, so the public pressure for her to change her mind was pretty strong. So you have this public pressure campaign. You also have now this recall campaign. What exactly is it going to take for the citizens of New Orleans who are unhappy with their mayor to get this on a ballot and to get people to vote for it? So the petition currently has 10,000 signatures, and we know that 50,000 more need to be added to that document in order for it to be added to the ballot on the February election. Once it's there, Contrell can challenge that, but it also could lead to a special election, in which case she would have to rerun, basically, for mayor. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.